Heroes and heroines of all ages, when the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1-Up Block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. When we last left off, we... What the hell did we do? We did some extra stuff, I believe. We went and got some extra junk, and we finished Hollow Bastion. And uh, off-screen, I actually went and collected the rest of the puppies. So, hold on, let me hit start on my top stopwatch. Bleh. Um, we got I got the rest of the puppies off-screen because... I'll, I'll show how you get those later, that's just the way it is. I needed Auroriga for this fight because, I don't know, I just like Auroriga and I'm going to show it off and what it does. Really, it's the same thing as Aurora, except it's stronger and it repels attacks, I believe, if that's the difference, I don't know. But I'm, I am going to be showing you this last uh, gummy ship mission because I showed you the first one and like I said, I'm going to show you the last one. So we're going to do this together, so are you guys ready? Here we go! So, here we are in the gummy ship again. You can see I've done some edits. We have more guns, more firepower. Uh, but, again, this is probably one of the most boring parts of the game. <clears throat> I know we've talked about it, but, like, I, I guess if you put some stuff on your gummy ship and make it stronger like I have, you can have some fun with it. But, uh, after, <laughs> after getting all the trophies in this game, I hate the gummy ship missions because, holy shit, that is one of the hardest things to do in this game is to get the trophies for completing all of the gummy ship missions uh, and if you don't know what the gummy ship missions are that's because they're not they're like optional they're like super optional and you won't know they're there unless you go looking for them or you know they're there in the first place I never knew they existed when I first played this as a kid so I never did any of them uh, nor do they really do anything special for you they get you like brute ah, they get you blueprints for like more gummy ships but like who the fuck cares you know what I'm saying Oh man, like I had some fun with some of the gummy ship missions, I'm not gonna lie. Some of them were actually kind of fun, but when they go overboard and just like take it to the next level, oh my gosh, it's the absolute worst. But I did platinum this game, I have the platinum trophy for it. I have the platinum trophy for this and Chain of Memories. Those, that's, those are my war trophies, man. Holy shit, if you ask anybody from the block, like if you come to the, uh, if you come to the Twitch channel when we're live, just bring up uh, the Chain of Memories trophies and watch us cringe immediately. But uh, yeah, that was the final Gummy Ship mission. Here we are at... The End of the World. Let's disembark, shall we? Alright then, well, I think my game froze. Ain't that but a bitch. Okay, so we are finally here at the end of the world. So, all right, let me little story real quick. I you guys saw just now that my game froze. It was that whenever I tried to load in the game after I reset the PS3, it kept telling me that there was some sort of error and the CD wouldn't load and all this stuff was happening and you think because like it is so hard for me to find the time to just sit down and actually record something. It's just hard for me to sit down and record something anyway with my insecurities about my audio. But, you know, uh, I, you'd think I'd be upset, but I'm like, this is part of being a Let's Player. So let's go. <laughs> Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Well, uh... This is a Heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. Okie doke, so welcome to the end of the world. This is not a Disney world, as you're probably well aware. 
This is actually a custom place for Kingdom Hearts, just like Hollow Bastion is, sort of. It's supposed to be Beauty and the Beast, but we talked about that already. So, welcome to the end of the world. This is basically just a huge gauntlet of Heartless, some of which I will probably skip over once I show you the new Heartless, because there are some new Heartless here. But uh, if it's Heartless we've already seen, I'm just going to skip over it, so you don't have to watch that. Uh, it, it's kind of annoying because that's all the end of the world is, is just heartless battle after heartless battle after heartless battle. And, actually, there is some heartless stuff that we can skip at the end, and I'll tell you what they are, but I'll probably do them anyway just to see if I can see what items we get from them. But I don't think they're too spectacular, so don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so these here, I don't remember what their names are, but holy hell are they annoying. Uh, let's see if we can show off what they do. I guess they can... Well, I don't really need to show off what they do, because you'll see it eventually. Um, they shoot balls out, and then they can also do this thing where they put their sword in the ground. Is there still... A, okay. They put their sword in the ground, and they disappear, and they form darkness around either Sora, Donald, or Goofy. And while they're in that state, you can't hurt them, and it's super annoying when they're like the last enemy you have to kill, and you can't kill them because... Oh my gosh, you can't kill them because they're invincible, and... Mm, Kingdom Hearts has this big issue with a lot of annoying enemies that are really difficult to deal with. And they kind of fixed that in the later games, thankfully, but like, in this game, they're just... Some enemies are more annoying to deal with than they need to be. Oh, also, before we go any further, I recommend you make sure Donald and Goofy have all of their best abilities on, like the stuff that makes them come back to life faster, uh, any MP rages that Donald or Goofy may have. Especially have Goofy with his uh, MP gift because that's just invaluable, you know. Invaluable is that is that the right context? Um, don't have have like Leaf Bracer on Donald. Take off all of the stupid stuff like Treasure Magnet and Jackpot and stuff. You will not be needing that here because this is the final stretch. And when you get to the boss fights, you do want Donald and Goofy to be at their absolute best. And that also goes for Sora. You want to make sure you have all of your best stuff, too. You're, Donald and Goofy aren't bringing their A-game, and then you're going to just be like, all right, I'm just going to slack off because I'm a bitch. Nah, you have to bring it. All of us have to be ready and prepared for fights. But uh, I think, yeah, this is the behemoth. So I'm going to start skipping these. So if I go quiet and the screen goes blah, 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 then you know why. Okay, I actually just... Okay, well, it's not going to let me. Okay. I just got an Omega Arch from that. What is Omega Arch? Raises max HP, strength, and defense. Is it good? Is Oh, my word. It's better than this. Okay, what about if for belt? Okie dokie. So, it's about the same, right? Or is the if it... Oh, no. It's better to take off the if There we go. So, you can get Omega Arch from the uh, Behemoth, apparently. I didn't even know that, but uh, we're going this way. Whoops. Going the wrong way. So the rest of the fights here are just going to be copy and paste, so I'm just going to skip them. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. This is not a copy and paste one. We have, actually haven't seen this uh, Heartless yet. <laughs> Sorry. These are the angels. They kind of have annoying stuff, too, where they kind of shoot stuff and can block with their wings. Uh, if you're low level, these guys can be a pain in the butt, but I am over leveled because I wanted to be make sure we have an easy time with the boss. I'm sorry. Sorry if you guys wanted to see me get my ass whooped. It still might happen. You never know. But, uh, yeah, these take forever. It's nothing but a boss gauntlet. Give me whatever that is. It is a elixir. That's actually really good. I, I don't know why I'm making a joke and singing about that, because elixirs are pretty kick-ass. They are going to help us in the fight with hmm -hmm -hmm later. <laughs> you, you know who I'm talking about. But if you don't know who I'm talking about, spoilers. Um, so right now my goal for today is to record, I'm just going to keep talking, I'm sorry, I'll skip when I'm done talking, or we might finish it, whatever. Uh, my goal for today is to finish Kingdom Hearts, at least the campaign, like the main story. Uh, all the later fights and stuff will come, you know, much later because I do kind of want to get to some other games, but I need to stop starting games without finishing other games, which is why, hey, we're almost done with Kingdom Hearts, so let's play Kingdom Hearts until I beat it, shall we? And now we just wait. We play the waiting game. Because, you know, this game is awesome like that, I suppose. But, you know, now that Pretty Stone... Yay! I actually don't know what Pretty Stones do. Pretty Stones are for some sort of uh, making stuff like the ultimate weapon and junk like that. Uh, hopefully this isn't a boss fight or a fight in general. We have to go to this one because you go to this one and then walk backwards to get that other chest. La oh, I'm probably going to have to do a fight right about here, aren't I? 
No? Is this a fight? Oh, you dirty hose. And we got Gale. That's definitely like a... a what do you call it? Synthesizing piece. But uh, I lied a little bit. Jackpot, if you can equip it, is good here because... Whenever you kill enemies, you'll get health orbs and MP orbs back. Son of a bitch. All right, we got an AP up. So that one was actually kind of worth it, sort of. I'm, but I really don't need it, so I'm not going to equip it. Um, What was I talking about? I lied about... Okay, yeah. I lied about Jackpot. Jackpot's actually really good because you can get MP orbs from some enemies while you're fighting the bosses coming up. So that's kind of good, but you really don't need it. And here's a big one. Is this going to be a boss fight, or is it just going to be a throwaway? Uh, it's just another behemoth, so I'll be right back. Alright, and we've been transported to some strange place. Ooh, spoopy. There is a couple of items that you can find in this area. I wonder where that Ansem Villa went. Dive into the most dangerous place and we'll find him. You know, that's actually pretty reckless, Donald. But, he is in not incorrect. That's actually what we're supposed to do. But, there is one place in this area that you are... Uh, well, there's a lot of treasure chests in this area that you can get, but there's only one particular area that I know is really good to jump into because you get a thing. It's right here. Whoop. Right, this should be... Click, click. Yay, we got Meteor Strike. I don't think that's a good weapon right now. Or weapon, sorry. I have the Wizard's Relic. Mm, gives more strength, but the MP is better. I have the Wizard's Relic and the Defender, which are two of the hardest things to get in the game because... Uh, let me tell you something. There's a there's a <laughs> there's a trophy for getting all of Donald and Goofy's weapons, right? And that includes these two particular weapons, which they I think Donald has the one. I'm pretty sure the Wizard's Relic is the one. Uh, but like, say if you get the Defender, which is what Doofy <laughs> Doofy really? I just legit out loud, like with all the seriousness in my heart, said Doofy. Okay, the Doofy and the Marty Mouse. Uh, the, the, sh the shield that Goofy has right now is the Defender, which is a rare drop from a particular Heartless. You know the one because of the face. Um, if you find that particular shield, that makes the Wizard Relic, which drops from those Mage uh, Heartless that have the, the hats and stuff, that do the electric shields and whatever, that makes that one harder to find. But apparently, randomly playing this game for the Let's Play, I got both of them. I may... The wiz I'm pretty sure the wizard relic is the other weapon. If it's not, then I'm stupid, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, randomly, I got both of the weapons, and on stream, when we were trying to trophy got, like, we were trophy hunting, and I was looking for that weapon, it took us at least 20 to 30 minutes. It took my friend, like, hours to find it. Holy shit, it's so dumb. But, I have the, tr I have the platinum trophy on this, so it, blah blah, I'm done with it. I could prove it, actually. You know what? No, I'm not going to prove it right now. I'll prove it later because it actually, like, lags a little bit. But I think this is it, right? The hole? Is this the hole we're supposed to fall in? I'm going to assume it is because there's a safe spot. Well, poop. I think there's a fight in here, so be ready for the fight. I should have told you that before I jumped in blindly. Never mind. This is not the fight. False alarm. <laughs> this is actually the place that you can skip if you so desire. Um... What you do here is... That's the way back. Never mind. Uh, if you go into this, I believe... Wait. Which way is the way to go? What the... What the hiffle? Uh, okay, it's this way. Never mind. So you go in here, and what you're gonna hap... What's gonna happen is you're gonna be taken to one of these little portal things. And what these portal things do is you walk into them... I'm showing you now because I'm gonna skip all of them because they're nothing but a bunch of gauntlets. Uh, it takes you to a portion of the world you've already been to... And then you just fight a gauntlet of Heartless, which come from that map, typically. Uh, and once you beat them, there's a treasure chest, which you can take advantage of. And basically, you only want to come here if you need to grind some uh, experience, which I do not need to do right now. Uh, ooh, look, a protector ring. Not really that great, but I mean, hey, that's kind of neat that we found one of those. Alright, it's not the end of it. This is why we're not doing this, guys, because I don't need to. There might be some good items here for synthesizing, so if you're playing on your own, I recommend doing this to get the synthesis items, if that's what they are. Uh, but pretty much as far as everything goes, we, you really don't need to do this. Click, click. And we got a spirit gem. Hooray. So yes, it's all for synthesis. There might be some items in here that you can only find in these areas. 
So, you know, again, sounding like a broken record, make sure you do these if you want to do the synthesis stuff and get the ultimate weapon or the trophy or whatever. But from now on, I'm going to skip them. I think you go to one level from... Like, you go to a map from each level or each world that we've visited. So, it's you're missing nothing, I promise you. It's a map literally taken from the world and you just fight a gauntlet of Heartless there and then you get a, a treasure chest. That's it. I promise. I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't skip it if it was something special. Like I said, I like to show off everything I can about the game, but it's simply not necessary to show you any of this. I thought I used to think you had to do all of these to get to the part at the end of this, but you simply do not. You don't have to. Hooray for that, am I right? Just walking through all this crap. And this green one that the idiot... Ah, I'm sorry, I'm talking. I know I can slow down and stop talking every once in a while because, you know, I don't have to be a motor mouth the entire time we're playing this. But in this green one, you can actually go and save and heal and do whatnot. And there's actually a treasure chest here. What the hell is this? Oh, cool. A mega elixir. That's not bad at all. But you can heal up, save here if you need to, and then, you know, move on your mosey on your merry way. Uh, you might want to do that, too, because there's actually a fucking fight here. So I'm going to I'm gonna do it myself. Fuck. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm not, because what if the recording screws up and I have to start all over again? That would be absolutely terrifying. But, you come out of here, and then you go forward. And in this one, we'll find what we need. Go into the big red flame, because that's a smart idea. That's what a smart human being would do, right? Oh, shit. Okay, so get rid of these heartless. It's these buttholes again, doing their annoying things. Hopefully you can get to them and kill them fast enough. If you don't have enough damage to kill them fast enough and you have to deal with their stupidity, I am truly sorry because they are annoying as hell. But we're fine. Walk in here. This looks kind of strange, doesn't it? Wow, look at this place. Kind of looks interesting. Ooh, a, sh a chest. A chest? What the... Oh, another elixir. Wow, that's actually really good. Okay, so... Hmm. A bunch of chambers. One, two, three, four, five... Is there a six and seven somewhere, or is that supposed to be like the the princesses of hearts? Where are the where's the other containers? Whatever, let's read this. One's born of the heart and darkness, devoid of hearts, ravage all worlds and bring desolation, seize all hearts and cons consummate the great heart. All hearts to be one, one heart to encompass all. This sounds a little bit like uh, Lord of the Rings. Realize the destiny, the realm of kingdom hearts, the great darkness sealed within the great heart. Progeny of darkness, come back to the eternal darkness, for the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door. The door of darkness, tied by two keys. The door of darkness, to seal the light. None shall pass but shadows returning to the darkness. One's born of heart and darkness, hunger for every heart until the dark door opens. And that should spawn in some heartless. Let's kick their ass and be on our way. Fuck you guys. Go to Hethel. Go to hell. Okay, so with that, the door will open, and it looks like you're supposed to go that way, but you're actually not. You're supposed to go backwards. It doesn't tell you this, and I spent like 15 to 20 minutes my first time here just looking for something to do, when all you really have to do is go backwards. And when you do, the flame will be unlocked, and there will be this new hole. Now, if you want to go back and save right now, you might as well do it because this is a boss fight, and if you're not prepared for it, it is kind of a uh, it's kind of a doozy. So, without further ado, let's hop into it. Yes, you are not seeing things. That is actually the Chernabog from Night on Bald Mountain in Fantasia. Why he's here, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> he's just, he's kind of a cool boss fight though. He's one of those uh, unique boss fights that Kingdom Hearts has uh, that I don't really think any other Kingdom Hearts game has. He's like a, 
he's a throw in the middle boss that kind of throws you off when you get to him. He's pretty epic the first time you see him. Uh, so if this is your first time seeing him, pretty random and epic, isn't it? <laughs> but he's he's really not that bad. Whenever he's charging up like that, he's gonna catch in the flames. And what you want to do is get away from him so you don't take the damage too much. Uh, if you're not prepared, he will do a lot of damage with that attack. So what you're looking for is for him to crouch over so you can take off and get away from him before he actually hits you. Uh, but, you know, if you're overpowered like me, you can just kind of get next to his face and wail on him. I can actually just take the damage from his flame. Okay, see, so he's doing... Okay, never mind. He didn't do it. He just pushed us away. I'm going to put on my Aurora go because feck you. Feck you, bitch. Die. Die, you son of a snickerdoodle. No, Goofy's dying. But the cool thing about that is I think they have last chance or once more on. So they don't instantly die. And then Donald, he has Leaf Bracer. So when he's about to die, he's automatically told to do Cure. So Donald really can't die if he has the MP to heal himself. So Donald and Goofy are pretty crap unless they have the proper ability set up. It's, it's really dumb. Like if they don't have specifically these specific abilities. Oh, hold on. Learn the ability Super Glide! Hooray! You know what Super Glide is? It makes Sora glide faster. That's it. But uh, as I was saying, Donald and Goofy are utterly useless unless they have these specific abilities equipped that keeps them alive because they're too dumb to do anything else about it. Like, they, they won't guard, they won't block, they won't dodge, they'll just take damage and die. And, you know, that's a flaw. That's a big flaw. But we're going down into this pit, which where is where the uh, Chernabog was. He was blocking it. And now we're here. I don't know where this is supposed to be, but it does kind of have a cool little aesthetic to it. Uh, hey, look at that. Download complete. <laughs> Grim Fandango Remastered is now done. Check that out. You know, oops. <laughs> this is a let's play, goddammit. Be professional. But we're walking forward here, and this will lead you to a fight. So if you are low on health or whatever, make sure you heal up before jumping into the fray. And, you know, fights. Lots and lots of fights. It's really... It's, it's, ow! It's a, okay, no, okay. So this is going to be another gauntlet. Uh, so I think I'm just going to keep it going because uh, really, what else am I going to show off here? This is probably going to be the end of the episode is this gauntlet because the, what happens after this gauntlet is the literal end of the game. Like, like It's the point of no return. It tells you. So I'll save that for its own episode and this will be the end of this one. But uh, yeah, we're almost to the end of Kingdom fucking Hearts. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if, when I'm going to start Chain of Memories. I do want to get to Chain of Memories in Kingdom Hearts 2 at a relatively quick pace, so maybe we can get them out of the way before Kingdom Hearts 3 comes around, but, you know, we don't even know when that's coming around. It might be December. So, hopefully this year I'll be able to get all of the Kingdom Hearts games out of the way so we can be prepared for Kingdom Hearts 3. But after Kingdom Hearts 1, I do have a couple other games that I need to beat. I have to beat, uh... Like, I don't know when I'm going to get back to Metal Gear Solid because, uh, number one, I don't have... The PS4 isn't mine. I think I've mentioned this. The PS4 is actually my buddy's, and I'm about to move out, so I'm not actually going to have access to a PS4 for a while. I will be grabbing one at some point, just I don't know when. So until then, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back to Metal Gear Solid. So that is on hiatus again, so that's fair. <laughs> Uh, but I do kind of want to get to Bayonetta. I have Bayonetta. I've been practicing it, and I kind of just want to get to that, too. But what other games do I have to finish? I started Zelda, Wind Waker. I have to get to that, definitely. Uh, we finished Shantae. What else? Uh, I have to do Robo Fortune. Does Robo Fortune have a story mode in Skullgirls? Because if she does, then I need to do that, too. Hey, get the fuck back here, bastard. That should be it, right? Nope. Never mind. Still have more gauntlet. Great. I also want to start, like, uh, Pokemon Emerald because, you know, I love getting into the Pokemon games. So far, we're up to Crystal. Ow. Second gen. My favorite gen. Which kind of blows. We're leaving my favorite generation, so it can literally only get downhill from here for me, at least. Not for you guys. If you're a fan of Hoenn and whatever, then, you know, 
you guys, you guys have something to look forward to. But Johto was my favorite region, and now, it, <laughs> unfortunately, it's just the way things go. It's downhill. Eh, come here. But I am excited. I'm really excited to play more Pokemon because right now I'm playing Omega Ruby, and uh, it's it's really a trip going back to the generation uh, after having played it, not having played it for a long time. And seeing everything in like a 3D light, it's just really cool. I don't know, I can't explain it really. But I am excited, and holy shit, this gauntlet goes on forever. I don't have much to talk about, you bastards. Die. Eh. Alright, come here. I, I need to finish Undertale too, but I have my own reasons for not wanting to touch that game right now. I'm just... Like, I don't want to sound like terrible, but I love the game. Don't get me wrong, but I'm sick of it right now. Like, the internet has blown up about Undertale. And I'm just, I don't want to talk about it, really. I'll wait for that to die down, and then I'll finish it at some point. Come here, you little bastards. Hey. Hey. I do, I wish I could record, like, fucking Don't Starve. Like, me and my friends playing Don't Starve. If I could record that, then holy shit, because I love playing that game. I'd play it on stream if I could, but unfortunately I can't, because my computer is poo poo. That's probably my next biggest thing to do, is get a better computer. Because, you know, quality. I want to produce quality stuff. And having a better computer would give me more access to other games to play. Like, I could make more videos on, say, Don't Starve. Like, I could go into the hundreds just playing Don't Starve at a basic level. Because it's one of those roguelike games that you can die and it have to start over and it's exciting like that. But, goddamn, this fucking gauntlet is still going on. Are you real? Die. That's got to be the last one, right? Come on. That's it, right? We do it? Okay, thank God. Holy moly. Thanks, game. Thanks for finally allowing me to do. But once you walk through this door, I guess you can't jump through it and do cool things. This is it. This is the final place we have to go to. But that's all the time we have for this one. Don't worry, I'm going to record the next episode immediately after this, so you're not going to have to wait too long. But that's all the time we have for this one. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. It's good to be back. I hope I'm back for good.